Hi everyone, my name is Amber and today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour to Forum Building. And the Forum Building is the main building of Wageningen University and Research because most students walk around here and most cl classes are given here. So it's not the only building here on campus. We have more buildings. If we turn this way a little bit, then we can see a higher building. And this building is called Borns. And we have more of them scattered through the whole city of Wageningen. And next to it, this building is called Campus Plaza. Uh, this also contains a lot of student rooms. So these people really live right on campus, which is quite cool. And then we turn on a little bit further and you can see Orion building. And the Orion building is also a building where classes are given, where you can study and also where you can have nice coffee because the student cafe, the spot is also located in Orion building. Now we're going to walk uh, into Forum. And maybe before we walk into the building, it's nice to tell you a little bit about myself. So I'm 23 years old and I'm in my first year of my master's. My master's is in sustainable tourism and the whole master's is called tourism, society and environment. And I did my bachelor's also here in Wageningen and it was called International Development Studies. And the reason why I studied to, uh, I chose to study in Wageningen is because the study I did was only given here. So uh, that was one. And the second reason was that I really like that Wageningen cares about sustainability and you can really see it that every study is somehow formed to improve the quality of life. And uh, that's also the motto of this university. So I really like that. I also really like our campus. It's a big green area where the different campus buildings are located. And also because of the green and the two little lakes and all these sitting areas, you have a lot of nice spots to hang around in summer. All right, I think it's time to go in. The weather is nice today, <laughs> so that's cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here you can see the student cafe is next to the study store and if you have a well-deserved coffee break, you can buy your coffee here and just hang around with your study friends. It's quite busy today because it's exam week, so a lot of people are studying. Now we're going to walk towards the library, which is the main library of the campus, and I think it's really nice to show you. So maybe I can tell you a little bit more about extra activities here at Wageningen University. Um, for example, if you, you have a lot of sport activities, we have a student gym, which is called the Bongert. And the Bongert is um, located right next to campus. So it's really easy to go for sports after you're done with your courses. And there's a swimming pool next to the Bongert, which is part of your um, um, where you can swim when you uh, are administered at the Bongert. And then we also have study associations. We have different ones uh, because every study has its own association. The study association is an association where you can become part of and where you will do activities with students that follow the same study as you. For example, my study association of my bachelor's was called Ipso Facto and the one of my masters is called Lycere. And last week they organized a Dutch board game. So in the evening we did with both Dutch students and international students all these board games with a lot of snacks and it was super fun. And if we walk a little bit further, we arrive at the student's canteen here at Forum. Either your lunch or your dinner and if you want to bring it, it's totally fine because we have a lot of microwaves everywhere. So you can just heat up food. So now we will walk 
towards the library. Here you can see that Volum has a lot of really high windows, which makes the building really light and spatial. So I really like the architecture of Forum building. So because of the exam week, I think it will re be really busy in the library. And I really seventh week you don't have any classes anymore because then you can really focus on your exam materials. And there are also two a little bit shorter periods. They are four weeks and we are in one of these periods now. So we are going to enter the library now. We have to be a little bit quiet. But if you pay attention, you can see that the library is constructed in the form of a globe because all the desks in the middle are constructed in a circle which forms the earth. And that's really cool because it's, uh, it aligns with the motto of Wageningen University, which is for the quality of life. So let's take a look. special. Here we're going. <laughs> this is the werewolf and the werewolf is a mascot of Wageningen University and you will see him walk around the university and if you attend special events you will see him there too and I really really like the werewolf because when you have some study stress or when you feel a little bit sad, you can always come up to the werewolf and give him a big hug and he will always make you more happy. All right, werewolf, thank you for being here and I will see you soon. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to walk to our classroom. because we're going to follow a live lecture just for a few minutes, but in this way you will have a little bit of idea how a lecture looks like here. But first, I think I see two students who might be willing to answer a few questions for me. And after that, we will go to the lecture, I promise. Hello. Hello. Hi. So, can you please tell me what you're studying? Um, I'm studying biotechnology. And do you like studying here in Wageningen? Uh, yes, I like it a lot. I think the university is really nice. And the professors are really good, so I really like it. And I see you are drinking from a special cup of Godon. Is Godon your study association? Yes, that's my uh, study association. <laughs> And do you do a lot with your study association? Um, I think I do. I always buy the merch. So <laughs> I think that's uh, okay. But um, they do have a lot of activities, but I'm not really uh, attending them. So like a uh, weekend, but I'm not really attending them. Okay, cool. So uh, do you have exams this week? Yes, on Friday. Are you going to make it? Yes. 
I okay. hope. <laughs> okay, well then I wish you both super good luck with your exams. And Thank I'm you. going to take you guys to the lecture now. Uh, Thank you. So, we're going to attend a lecture which is called Fisheries Ecology. It's a lecture by Leo Nagokerke. And this lecture is part of the Master's Biology and Animal Sciences. And I think this course is about... I think this course is about... Um, uh, fishes in the ocean and their relation to other sea organisms and the relation they have to resources so I think that's very interesting and maybe it's also nice to tell you a little bit about courses here in Wageningen how they are constructed because we have lectures and normal lectures are where the professor is talking a lot and you just absorb the information but there's always space to ask questions and then we have tutorials, and with tutorials there's some more active participation between students and professors. So you have either discussion groups or presentations, so that's really nice. And then the third one is practicals, and in practicals students put on their uh, lab goggles and their lab coats, and they are going to prepare for an experiment. And you always have a supervisor with practicals, and the supervisor will tell about the safety protocol because most of these experiments where you need a lab goggle or, or lab coats are either biological or chemical. So I don't have those because I study social sciences, but I do think that they sound really cool. And I think right now we almost arrive at our lecture. We have to be a little bit quiet because I think they already started. So we're going in for a few minutes and I hope you will enjoy it. And after that, I will take you outside again. Oh, well, we're being joined. Welcome. We're being joined by people from the, uh, uh, the online open day today uh, for a few minutes. Welcome everybody who's watching. Um, you're going to join the lecture of uh, fisheries ecology for a, uh, a few minutes. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll continue that. Thank you. So if you look at the effects of the uh, of the on the substrate, we already talked about foam speed, dimension of the weight, and so on. And the effects may last for hours to decades, or maybe even permanent. In the case of um, of the disruption of reefs and rocks, for instance. Okay, to give you an example of the effects of substratum on the infauna, so the animals that live inside of the substratum. This is a, uh, a picture of part of the, uh, of the North Sea, and the bottom is not completely homogeneous. You have different types. You have the, what they call the sandy mega ripple area. Mega ripples are these ripples in the sand. You sometimes also see them on the beach, that kind of uh, structure. And then you have a gravelly seabed, and this thing is a beam trawl mark. So you see that the boat has actually gone over there and, le and left the mark. The interesting thing is here, it seems to be much clearer than there. And it also suggests maybe the effects are bigger here than they are there. Well, you can have a look at that by scoring what type of organism you find there. And bear with me for this graph. You saw it in the last well, not the last one, the lecture on Monday as well. These are species uh, accumulation curves, right? The question asked last Monday was, what is most diverse, the higher curves or the lower curves? The lower curves, very good. The lower curves are more diverse because you need more species to fill up the total amount of 100% uh, of, uh, uh, of all organisms. So what you see here is two things. That you have the southeast, that's the squares, southeast unfished, filled, southeast fished, open, and you have the northwest, so that's the, that's the mega ripple area, and then you have the northwest unfished and the northwest fished, so that's the gravity seabed. And what you see is if you look at the mega ripple area, two squares, whether it's fished or not unfished, doesn't make a big difference. 
So apparently the impact of the same type of fishing on this habitat is not so big. But if you look at the gravel you see that there's a big difference because this is the unfished area and this is the fished area. Right? You can also look at it from a, a multivariate perspective, I'm not going to go into that. But the, so what I'm trying to make clear here is that the amount of damage that fishing can cause is context dependent in this case, habitat context. Yeah? Questions about this? No? That's good, I think. So if you have habitats that are exposed to high level of natural disturbance, for instance, with reserves on these kind of things, there's little added effect to what you said. So these were a few minutes of the lecture fisheries ecology. I hope you found it interesting and maybe it's also good to say that this virtual search reform has come to an end. However, this afternoon there will be a live Q&A at 2.30 Dutch time where both master students and bachelor students will answer all of your questions regarding studying here at Wageningen University. And if you have more questions, you can also ask them in the online chat room which is provided on the online open day platform. And maybe also nice to know is that we have our own YouTube channel, which is called Virtube. And please follow it because then you will know everything about studying here in Wageningen, about studies here and just about the student life. All right, goodbye.